What's up guys, Cole here with Alliance Wake for the 2023 Gear Guide Review. Today we are looking at the Rusty Snaggletooth 2.0. Now, the 2.0 is obviously the second version of the Snaggletooth. The Snaggletooth was kind of their staple board in the beginning when they started making some wake surfers. Uh, it's got this classic kind of Snaggletooth nose. There's no purpose to the nose, it just looks pretty sweet. But now what they've switched it to a twin fin. So now you've only got two fins in there, but it definitely still grips and rips pretty well. Also, while we're talking about the fins, we come with some future fin boxes. You can put whatever fins you want in there. The option is yours. I also really like the shape of this board. Um, just because of this tail here, it gives you a lot of push and energy when you're trying to get down that line. Uh, it's just you know a good surface area, nice and thick. And you can really push and generate some speed. On top of this board, we've got some pads going on here that come with the board. Rusty has this corduroy feeling pad up front really grippy, plenty of grip for you. You don't need to wax your board up and get your boat all nasty. Got a back pad here as well. Moving into the categories, we're gonna go into carve first. So how does that board feel when you're taking it on rail? We go one through 10, one meaning it's loose, out of control, 10 meaning it's locked in. This board is a twin fin. So with that much tail, it, de it definitely can get loose and get the fins out pretty well but it also tapers and gets really sharp toward the tail there, letting you dig that rail into the wave, uh, making it a bit more grippy. There was definitely a couple of moments where the board may have felt loose, so for that reason, I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10. We're gonna talk about staying in the wave for the next category. We go one through 10 with this as well. One meaning it's very slow, it's hard to stay in the wave, 10 meaning it's crushing it, it's super fast, no issues. Um, this board right here is a performance style surfboard. It is a 4.6 and it is not made to just be cruising behind the boat. You can do that, but that's not what really goes into this board and what it's made for, you know? Um, with that being said, there was definitely moments where I kind of had to get on it to stay in the pocket, but you could also find that sweet spot and hang in there no problem. I'm gonna give this board a seven out of 10. Once you're done chilling back there in that wave, we're gonna get some speed trying to go do something, right? So we're gonna talk about speed, one through 10. One is slow, 10 is really fast. And this board does pretty well when it comes to the speed. There is a channel running through the bottom here that is going to help control and funnel that water through the belly of the board, giving it a little bit more speed. But also, I believe that this tail, being as thick and as wide as it is, definitely gives you an advantage when it comes to generating speed. You have a nice big surface area to push off of and really generate that speed flying down the line. This thing's a seven out of 10. Now, with all that speed, you gotta go pop it off and that's why we're gonna talk about pop. We go one through 10, one no pop, 10 to the moon. And now with this board, we kinda have a nice tail to really push off of. And obviously we're getting plenty of speed but it's also pretty controlled, even though it is a twin fin. Um, the fin's definitely held in there, pretty consistent all the way through every time trying to do an air, and it definitely had the pop needed, giving it an eight out of 10. Lastly, the thing we look at is the ability scale. Who is this board for? This board is an intermediate advanced board just because it's a performance style wake surfer. It's made to do airs, spin around, shove it up, whatever you wanna do this board can do it. And it's a 4.6, it's not really made to just be a cruiser. If you're a beginner, you could jump on this board. You could surf, no problem. Are there other options that make it a bit easier? Sure. But, you know, another plus side to that is you could buy this board, start on it, and then get to a point to where you wanna be on it. Because this board lets you progress and that's kind of the whole goal, right? You, you know, unless you're an old guy, you just want to cruise, maybe this might not be a board, but if you want to do some cool stuff, this board gets it done. So that wraps it up for the Snaggletooth 2.0 by Rusty Surfboards. Um, this thing is a classic in the line and having a second rendition of it, same deal, good board all around. Um, if you guys want to know more information about this board, head over to the link in the description to check out different sizes in this board or 
all the other boards in their line, you can really get a good idea of what you're looking for. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any reviews coming out in the future. My name's Cole, and we'll see you on the next one.